Yes, people, what is good? It is your girl, Lauren Naomi, and you are here for Gymshark 66, day nine. This is your booty blast. We're gonna get straight into this. You will need one booty band. I'm using a gray one just so you can see everything I'm doing. I also thought it kind of complements the fit that is fitting right now. And you're also gonna need two medium to heavy dumbbells. Now the majority of the work that we're gonna be doing and hitting up today is gonna be map focused. However, for the final three minutes, we're gonna be up on our feet and we're gonna be standing, picking up those bad boy weights. So before we get into this, you're gonna pop on your booty bands. You're gonna bring it to around mid thigh, and you're gonna bring yourself down onto the ground, and in 10 seconds, we're gonna hit up our first movement. So, all fours, wrists beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips, we're gonna hit up our donkey kick in three, in two, in one. Right foot, right knee is gonna lift up towards the ground and then squeeze back down. Now, we are here just for 45 seconds, so that should be enough time to get an absolute juicy activation going on. So keep squeezing up, squeezing back. There's resistance in every single part of this movement. Pressing your fingertips and your thumbs into your mat. Squeezing your belly button nice and tight towards your spine. Gorgeous. Final 15 seconds here. See if you can get your knee a little bit higher each time, making sure your hips are nice and square to the mat beneath you. Gorgeous. We've got six, five, four, three, two, one. Now you're gonna keep that knee lifted, take a big breath in as you exhale, lift it one inch higher, and we're simply gonna pulse it up and down. Keep the movement as small as you can. If you're trying to concentrate that burn right into the middle of your glute. Good, you're only here for 15 seconds. You've got three, two, and one. Lift the knee nice and high. As you exhale, you're gonna extend the leg away from your body and then bring the knee back in. It's away and in. So here, we're working our glute, but we are also working our hamstring. Gorgeous, you've got 30 seconds left. Now, I do not know about you, we've been working for what, about a minute and a half, and I'm absolutely feeling the fire in my right butt cheek. Keep it going. 20 seconds left here. Make sure that the knee doesn't drop down towards the mat. Keep it as high as you can. And as you can see, I'm not rushing the movement. I'm taking my time with it, I'm trying to feel it out, use my breath, connect it. Gorgeous. You've got six, five, four, three, two, and one. Extend the leg again, lift it one inch higher. You're gonna bring the toe down to the ground, and then you're gonna drive the foot back to the top. You tap, you lift. You tap, you lift. Good, keep it going. And lift. Tap and lift. Wow, the glute for three, two, one final movement for 45 seconds. You're gonna create a ginormous rainbow behind you. Bring the toe up and over and then take it back to that start place. Up and over. Woo! I'm feeling it already. Let's go. Best believe I was just complaining about being a little cold, but I can reassure you I'm absolutely not cold right now. You've got 25 seconds left here, the 15 second recovery, then you are up on your feet and we are hitting it again from the opposite leg. Keep going. Big breath, big breath. Up, take it down. Good. Ah, come on. Big squeeze to the top. Take it down. Nice. You've got five, four, three, two, wowza, and one. So the heat that you are now feeling in your right glute, we're going to match that on the left glute. Seven seconds straight in with that donkey kick. Shake yourself off. Set yourself up in three, in two, in one. Let's get it, Jim Shark. All the way up. Squeeze it down. Now, I really want you to find the balance in your body here. The same effort and intention that you put into the right leg goes into the left leg, yeah? Breathe. Squeeze it up, squeeze it down. Every time you get to the top, ask yourself if that actually is your max or you've got a millimeter that you're saving. What are you saving it for, a rainy day? Absolutely not, keep going. All the way to the top, all the way down. Beautiful, come on. Woo. Let's find the balance, let's find the balance. 10 seconds left here, then you're gonna hit your pulse. In five, 
in four, in three, in two, in one. Lift it to the top, big breath in as you exhale, lift it higher, start to pulse it. Up and up and up. Footprint on the ceiling, let's go. Squeeze your abs, try not to dump into your lower spine. Press the fingertips into your mat, round through your shoulder blades. Energy shooting through the crown of your head for three, for two and one. Keep it nice and high, extend the leg away from you. Lift the leg a little higher, then let's go. Bring it in, extend away. It's in, extend away. Good, resist that movement as much as you can. I'm not just kind of flipping my leg around because that's just not it. It's not giving anything, yeah? Squeeze it in, resist it back, in, resist it back. You're trying to stretch that booty band in between the legs. 15 seconds left here, then we hit that toe tap to the mat and back to the sky. Good. You are eight, seven, six, it's five, four, three, two, one. Lift it a little higher, let's go. You tap and lift, tap and lift. Imagine there's a string tied around your ankle and I'm behind you lifting the string nice and high each and every time. Five more seconds for four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Woo. Okay, final one, let's get it. Rainbow over. Back to the other side. Come on, nice and high. We're gonna hit the peak of that rainbow each and every time and ask yourself, am I settling for the minimum or can I push for a little bit more? 30 seconds left here, let's get this. Squeeze, good. Up and over, come on. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Not only is my glutes on fire, my thigh is on fire, my hamstring is on fire. Keep it moving. Woo, come on. Up and over, gorgeous. You've got eight, seven, six. Keep the space for five, four, three, two, wow, and one. Breathe, so, so good. All right, you now have about 60 seconds just to shake off what you need to shake off. You're gonna jump up onto your feet. We're gonna get rid of the resistance bands of the booty band. We do not need it anymore. The activation is activating. Lower body should be feeling juicy. This is now the time where we're gonna grab our medium to heavy dumbbells. And everything we now do is gonna be standing. Three exercises, three exercises only, one time through Gymshark, and then you are done. So if you're with me, jump to your feet, shake it off. You can absolutely chuck that resistance band in the bin if you want to, or just be like, you know what? I've got your back, you've got mine. I'm just gonna place you down nicely on the floor. All right, three exercises. In 30 seconds, we're gonna get going. To grab those weights, you're gonna start with your feet hip distance apart, shoulder blades roll back and down, chest is proud. Keep your gaze right in front of you. Try not to drop your chin to your chest. Up, nice and tall, okay? In 10 seconds, we're gonna hit our deadlift. So you're gonna squeeze your hips to the back. You're gonna drive the dumbbells down to about mid shin. And as you get to the bottom, you squeeze back to the top, keeping a little bend in the knees. In three, two, one, let's go. Take it down, good. Big squeeze to the top. Now you should feel your glutes absolutely firing up here. Big squeeze to the top. If you are lifting heavy enough, you shouldn't really be able to move that quickly. Take your time with it, enjoy it. Yeah, that's why you're here. That's why you clicked on to do this little sesh. So enjoy, big squeeze, nice. Take it down, Woo. big exhale to the top. Try to keep a small bend in the knees if you can as you stand up tall. Try not to lock your hips out and push your hips in front of your knees. This is an absolute no-no. It feels disgusting even being here. So I'm not gonna do that again, all right? Squeeze it all the way down, mid shin. Squeeze it back to the top, tiny bend in the knees. The hips just come back in line. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Gorgeous. Now you're gonna step the feet a little wider apart. I'm gonna turn my toes out and the knees are gonna ensure to track over the line of the toe. So we are going for a sumo squat. Both dumbbells if you can, or you can drop down to one weight if you need to. In three, two, one, let's get it. All the way down, good. Imagine like you're sliding down a wall, yeah? All the way down, squeeze to the top, gorgeous. And down. Keep the chin lifted, airway open, find your focus and keep a tiny little micro bend in your knee. Yeah, so keep in the tension there. Whew. Come on, come on, come on, we've got this. All the way down, 15 seconds left here. Yep, feel the glutes and the lower legs firing up. 
and keep it consistent, yeah? Try not to stop, keep it flowing, keep it moving for five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the weights down, stand up nice and tall, feel the juices flowing. This is your third and final weighted standing exercise in your booty blast. We get going in five seconds. Now this is going to be the worst one, but it's fine. We are gonna get this done anyway. Grab hold of both of your dumbbells, stand up nice and tall. We are gonna hit a little sumo jump. Let's get it. Take it down, little squeeze. Down, little squeeze, good. Down, little squeeze. Your toes are just coming off of the floor. Squeeze it down, up, squeeze it down, up, squeeze it down. You've got 20 seconds left. I know this absolutely sucks. I am with you every step of the way. Final 15, let's go. Whoo, thighs on fire, arse on fire. Gymshark, keep it moving for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, it's five, four, three, one more, two, one. Oh my goodness, lower body, absolutely feeling the juices. Thank you so much for joining me and we will see you soon. I wanna taste the